Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well this video is, um, I've made this to uh, to show Dirk. Um, I think it's Dirk82, well it's Sebastian Nutter. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, what it is, is an induction heater. What it is, is a ZVS driver for the ferrite unit. This is the best way that I've always, uh, I've always meant it to work. And of course through the coil, which is the inductance, inductor, induction coil sorry and that's a bit of porcelain with a screwdriver bit stuck in the middle now I'm putting about 24 volts through this unit and it pulls about 3-4 amps minimum at uh, maximum so turn the unit on and I'll show you this thing getting hot so hopefully we've got to see the screen properly there we go. Look at that. Three and a half amps. And you will see this getting warm. So my probe can get on it. It's getting hot quite quick. In terms of the laser, um, it reflects off the off the thing, so it doesn't quite read the temperature. Well, that is getting quite hot. I can see a little bit of shimmering coming from it. Forty. 50 Celsius. You can actually hear that. Try to be dirty putting a bit of spittle on it, but uh, I should see how hot that thing was getting. I'm still drawing. Three and a half, four amps. That thing is still getting hot. The whole of this unit is cold. Nothing is warm. Oh, now I can feel that when I squeeze that. When I squeeze that, I can actually feel the frequency, the voltage going through this. And that's quite cool. If this fan wasn't on, on this, in fact, let's disconnect that. Yeah, it's getting hot now. Look, can you see the smoke? There you go. So you can see smoke. This is a fantastic circuit, it runs really, really well. See how high it's getting. And there's 69, 83, 91, 107, 144 Celsius at the minute. <laughs> That's getting really hot. <laughs> so it's because it's reflecting off it. Getting all sorts of readings off it. Whoa, that is really getting hot now, guys. In fact, we have a glow in the bottom. Can you see that? There's a glowing, guys. I think we better turn this off. That is really smoking now. So let's see if we can get this out. Oh, no, it's not glowing now. I wanted that thing to glow. I think I may be 
burning to the wood on the bottom of the table. No, I wasn't. That's good luck. Good thing. But as you can see, shit, I shouldn't put that on the table. I'm not starting to burn already, lot. That was really, really working well. And that was for Sebastian Nutter, Dirk82, if I remember rightly. That's D I R K K 82. And uh, as he was doing a induction here, I wanted to show him mine, so it uh, gives him a few ideas. Well, yeah, I've got uh, the normal ratio of what you'd put on a flyback, 5-5 five, five center tap. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 windings on the secondary. And then through the coil. And I've got a 4.7 microfarads capacitor, UF. And four IRFP 260 ends at two in parallel on either side and 1k resistors on the input and 10k across the gate and source with 15 uh, volt Zener diodes. Now, how well does that run? Coffee, anyone? <laughs> Boil a kettle with that thing. So yeah, so that was my setup, that's my induction heater and I wanted to share that for you guys. Oh, I love being on camera. Thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves. Hey, hold on a minute. Uh, my treacle, bless her, is building a uh, high voltage coil, aren't you treacle? Is it a high voltage coil you're building? You said you're building something high voltage. Yeah, silly little bugger looks. What? Electric. Oh bless you, you want to be like your daddy, don't you? <laughs> and my mom. Anyway guys, look after yourselves. Be Bye safe. guys. Whatever you're doing, be careful, be safe. Always remember common sense guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Speak again.